This tangle of silk is the home of one of Australia's most feared spiders, the highly venomous redback. Despite its appearance, this web is actually highly complex and very finely engineered. It contains some of the strongest silk produced by any spider. So strong that she can catch and transport prey far larger than herself. First, she winds strands of silk around the struggling beetle to immobilize it. When the beetle tires, she bites. She must pull her victim up to the part of the web where she lives. She starts snipping and reattaching the lines of silk. These lines are under tension. They're spring-loaded, and that allows the redback to haul huge weights around her web. The tiny male watches as she retrieves her catch. Spider silk is as stretchy as elastic, but harder to snap than steel. As day turns to night and the forests plunge into darkness, nocturnal predators are coming out to hunt. One of them is Dinopis, the ogre-faced spider. She is found throughout the tropics, and she uses silk in a very different way. She has turned it into a net. Her stick-like body makes her hard to spot amongst the branches. Her huge central pair of eyes are 2,000 times more sensitive than ours. And to keep it that way, she completely rebuilds the retina at the back of each eye every single day. They enable her to hunt in almost complete darkness. She hangs an inch or so above the forest floor from a series of silk lines. She strikes. She stretches the net over her prey and then wraps it in silk to immobilize it. At last, she begins the slow process of digesting her meal. For her prey, at least, the end is quick. Her fast-acting venom kills almost instantly. But venom can have other uses, and some victims are not so lucky. Venom can be used for both defense and attack. But some arthropods use it in a more subtle way, not to kill, but to control. Ooh. 